Hey guys, I am in Vien. I am staying in one of my friend's really, really amazing apartment. I'm gonna stay there for a few days and I'm super excited to just hang around. We just walked into my favorite second-hand shop called Humana. The only one that bought something was Christian. <laughs> I came from Norway like five hours ago and it was freezing, so it's way too hot here. So now we're all good in our summer clothing. And then we have something that I'm really excited about and this is called... Samosa. Samosa. I'm not really sure what's supposed to be inside of it. Meat. And I already tasted one. Did you? Yeah, I did. And it's spicy. Double, triple. Double, triple dip. But uh, is it still hot? No. But it's actually almost like a fish taste to it all. One thing that we have been told to really explore Vienna, you have to just walk around. And I think they were quite right with that statement because you do see so much just by walking and it's amazing. We have now been strolling for a few hours. Plan now is to have some lovely dinner with the girl that we're borrowing the apartment from and her lovely boyfriend. So that's the plan for now. <laughs> <laughs> These are all wines from the wine yard back here, isn't it? Yes, this is the Weissburgunder. We have to mix it with, I think that's the soda. That's how you do it. You nailed it. It's <laughs> an Austrian thing. <laughs> Pizza made out of <laughs> chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> this was really good though. It's another beautiful day here in Vien. We are walking towards Hundewasser House. But of course, as one does when you walk to places, you kind of do heaps of detours. And now we're outside of Bellwalde Castle. After an hour of walking almost, we did find it. It's a... Uh, oh, it smells so nice. Coconut bowl. Mm. You it's know like that uh, I'm supposed to eat it too, right? No, bye. <laughs> we are on our way to Prater Park, which is one of the biggest parks in Vien. And I'm so excited to get there because this is not a normal park. What's cool about this is that this park is inside a park that has an amusement park. Mm. We saw a lot of people ordering this huge piece of meat. It looks crazy. So the guy, he just ripped out the leg from this thing. <laughs> Sour kale. That's the one that has the beer taste to it. My tactic here is just going in the middle, mixing yeah. them. Yeah. Looks about right. Don't forget. Now it's perfect. Uh, fried lamb. It's a bit dry, but I think it's a. Uh... You always say it's a bit dry though. We really have tried our absolute best to eat it up, but it's just so much food. I'm just having like a food coma. Yeah, okay. When you're just so full that you just stop really living. It's like being a little kid again back at the amusement park. Can you make a YouTube video? Yeah. Hello, guys. Yes, you Hello, guys. <laughs> Side note bring some cash. They don't take cards. <laughs> excited? I really am actually. We have now walked our way to the old town here in Vienna and we're standing by the cathedral with a very nice roof that's what they're known for. I want to get some frozen yogurt and go to one of the parks to chill and do some people watching. So that's the plans, so we'll see if that actually happens. We made it to the park without frozen yogurt. We couldn't decide which one we wanted to get from this brand, so we just got like everything that you possibly could fit into a bag. It's kind of the same. <laughs> this is what they're known for. Another day in this beautiful city. We're blessed with good weather and blessed with Shoes, shoes that does not give me blisters. Let's so, see. 
I, yeah, actually time will tell. We are now on a mission to go to a market. It's a 30 minute walk. So I'm glad I changed my shoes. Cause yesterday, had a bleh. Cashew with honey. It is. Silla Lilis. Silla Lilis? Fortune cookie? Yeah. On our little walks that Christian and I have done the couple of days, we have seen so many beautiful buildings and palaces. But I think this one is the one that really took the breath out of us because this is stunning. It's called the Maria Theresa Palace. I can't believe people built things like this before. Okay, so what are we trying right now? Dinner sandwich with beef because that's the only thing they have left. <laughs> this is the place you would eat every day if you were living in Vienna. No, just on Fridays. <laughs> Sundays, Saturdays, and Saturdays, Sundays. yeah. This is the sandwich. The last thing that we're gonna do before leaving beautiful Vienna is of course to make coffee But not the normal way that we're used to We're gonna make coffee the Italian way And that matches perfectly with our next traveling plan because next up is Venice In Italian So with that, I'll get to say ciao